psychyogi.org. Balin syndrome, an extreme form of visual neglect caused by damage to both the parietal lobes. It was named after Renzo Balint, who discovered it in 1909. There's a photo of him there. The area highlighted in purple is the parietal lobe. You have one either side. Uh, it's located behind the central sulcus, which is this line here, which divides the frontal and parietal lobes. Uh, on you right now, if you were to draw a, a line from your ear over the top of your head to your other ear with your finger, that would be roughly where the central sulcus and the central fissure, as it's also known, is located. And this is the video of a man who has Balin syndrome. I can't tell. Can okay. you see it? I can see it, but I can't tell it. I can't even reach it. You seem to do better with your left hand. Can you take a crack at it up here, if I hold it up closer? All right, how about now that you've touched it with that hand, can you reach with the other hand and grab it? With your right hand? With my right hand? Uh-huh. No, I can't. If I wiggle it, does moving it help you at all? Nah, well... Yeah, it does a little bit. So motion sort of pulls you toward it, like. What do you see here? A comb. Mm -hmm. What do you see now? A comb. What do you see now? Spoon. Do you see the comb? No. Do you see the comb? Yeah. Do you see the spoon? Mm -hmm. what, what do you see now? I see the spoon. What do you see now? Coma. Do you see a spoon at all? No. Okay. Can you see what? Just tell me what you see. I see what looks like a blackboard with some writing on it. Mm -hmm. And there is a blackboard with some writing right behind us. So when you lost track of what was there, you picked up whatever was right in front of you, I guess. And you can see the writing. So it's your acuity is okay. You can see the writing. symptoms there's three symptoms that make up this disorder the first one is ocular motor apraxia this is when you are unable to control your eyes so that you can direct your eyes to an object this is something that most people take for granted as in fact everything of these symptoms most people will take for granted for example, if you were to look at your keyboard now on your computer, or you were to look at something around you, you would not have any difficulty doing that if you don't have Balin syndrome. You can just control your eyes and they just work. The next one is called optic apraxia. This is where you're unable to accurately reach for things. Humans have evolved to have two eyes and we have depth perception, so if you go to reach for your lovely cup of tea, you can do that without thinking about it. You know where that cup of tea is in relation to you in space. If you have Balin syndrome, this becomes a nightmare. You can't do it. Usually, people will miss by a foot to the right or left and continue grabbing because that's where they think it is. It's almost like if you're... If you go buzz eyed and then try and grab things, you can still do it, but it's quite difficult because there's two objects you're seeing. The third one is visual simultagnosia. This is the inability to see the entire picture. This is essentially visual neglect. This is where you cannot see the entire clock face, but you believe you can you're not aware of anything missing so you might if you're asked to draw it you might draw from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock ignoring 7 to 11 on the clock so you draw half a circle and have nothing that would suggest to you that you've drawn anything wrong it's only until you rotate that drawing the person suddenly sees that there is bits of the clock missing so some of the specific effects of this disorder Sufferers fail to see people if that people uh, the people are wearing glasses. So 
one of the things they report is that they can see the glasses, but they're failing to be able to see the person behind the glasses. Sufferers may miss things when trying to put on, for example, shoes. Like the tea analogy, when people try and put on shoes, you just put your foot into the shoe and that's it. But people with Balin syndrome will often try to put their feet into shoes which aren't there. Their shoe is there, but it's a foot to the left of where they're putting their feet. And also the inability to grasp objects with accuracy, which again is similar to the T analogy. The etiology of this disorder can arise from head trauma, a stroke. Now, with a stroke, it's usually two or more in very similar places in the parietal lobes of each hemisphere, which is very rare, and this is why this condition is very rare. Tumours and neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Creutzfeldt-Jacobs disease, 